Anselma Perez lives on the border between Argentina and Bolivia, where hunger and poverty are daily concerns. But now, with this plant that has no nutritional value, Anselma and her community have figured out how to feed their children and provide income for their families. By weaving the fibers of the chaguire plant into bracelets, the indigenous Huichi women are able to forge a path out of poverty for themselves and their families. They work with Pampa Brava, just one of more than 40 community organizations in 20 countries that Global Goods Partners connects with a market for their handmade products. Global Goods Partners believes that lasting change begins at the community level. When women control their own resources, it becomes possible for families and communities to get out of poverty and to gain access to education and health care. We identify some of the poorest communities in the poorest countries around the globe, and we're working with strong grassroots organizations, really making a difference and bringing about positive social change and addressing social justice. Global Goods Partners buys handmade products from community organizations and sells them in the U.S., generating income for women and their families and educating U.S. consumers about the impact each purchase makes. Visitors to the website can choose from hundreds of fair trade products and read the personal stories of the women who make them. I'm counting on this partnership to help me raise the voice of women, to uh, present the beauty that the women are creating uh, to the world beyond my reach. In addition to providing income, Global Goods supports partners with technical assistance, product development, and a small grants program. It's very hard in Kandahar to be able to follow the trends. We don't have access to magazines. We don't have access to fashion. Global Good Partners has definitely assisted us in what are the trends and what are the needs of, of markets in a, in a place like the U.S. The women's groups I met were so excited to have the chance to work with an American designer or any designer, really. They never had any kind of volunteer that helped them with, at least locally, that helped them with design or even with grant writing. Remember on Selma and the indigenous Weechee women? Global Goods Partners gave a grant to the Weechee community to fund a training course led by a reproductive specialist to help combat teenage pregnancy. Another partner, the Afghan Institute of Learning, provides health care and education to millions of Afghan families. With Global Goods Partners, they've started a program that trains and employs women artisans. In a matter of four and a half months, the women learn a skill that they can support their family and bring income to the family. We try to educate them as much as we could through different levels of education. The women of Pampa Brava, Kandahar Treasure, the Afghan Institute of Learning, and the thousands of other women in the network are inspiring. Global Goods Partners will continue to help them create better lives for themselves and their families. There are many ways you can help. Learn more about these partners and the fundraising program that allows U.S. schools and nonprofits to sell products and earn a percentage of sales. As a not-for-profit, your contributions help support the technical assistance, product development, and grants. The next time you're looking for a gift for yourself or someone else, check out the hundreds of handmade products available in the online store.